Well, this is the Class C uh, RV uh, based on a Ford E450 chassis. There's a battery, and you can see uh, from here, there's actually two uh, battery cables. This battery cable here is part of the engine uh, system, and this uh, battery cable here is added on. And if you uh, follow it, it goes down and around here, all the way across here, and then you probably can't see it, but behind here, there is a contactor. Okay, Trombetta, part number 684-1251-012. Now, a contactor is just a relay with two sets of wires. One set of wires is basically a switch that can uh, switch 50, 100, 150, 200 amps or more. The other set of wires is a coil, and that is a low current coil. So um, the house battery comes in and connects to one side of this contactor, and the other side of the contactor goes over to the engine battery. Okay. Now this contactor serves two purposes. The first purpose here is emergency start, so that when you depress this, and you, when I do, you can uh, hear the contactor. Okay, that um, connects the house battery to the engine battery, so that you can start the engine if the engine battery is dead. So that's the first purpose of the contactor. And the second purpose of the contactor is when I put the keys in, now I, when I put it in the run position, you can hear the contactor uh, close again. There you go. So that means that whenever the ignition is in the run position, the contactor closes. The purpose of the contactor being closed uh, when the uh, ignition switch is in the run position is so that the alternator can charge the house batteries along with the engine battery. The other way that you can easily tell if the engine uh, alternator is charging the house batteries is to look at the voltage, start the engine, and then compare it, which is what we're going to do here. So I'm going to start the engine uh, while watching the meter and I'm using an analog meter because it's going to be a little bit easier to see. You should see the voltage drop maybe while the engine is cranking, but then the voltage should be about a volt higher um, when the engine is running, which would indicate that the alternator is connected uh, to the house batteries. Right there, did you see that little uh, increase in voltage uh, by about a volt? That's the alternator kicking in. Unfortunately, with most of today's motorhomes, there is little technical data, if any, uh, that indicates how your alternator is connected, uh, whether it's connected to your engine battery only, or also if it charges the coach batteries. So if you wanna find out for sure Try the tests that I did in this video, and if you see that telltale one volt increase on the batteries when the engine is running, that is a sure marker that the alternator is charging the batteries. So that would be the best thing is to look for that uh, one volt increase, and then you'll know for sure that your engine alternator is charging your uh, house batteries.